As somebody new to the Maths Hub programme, I found it really beneficial to be part of a group, so talk with other people who are also part of the Maths Hub and actually really think about what we need to do as a school, uh, what our strengths are, what our areas of development are, um, and be able to talk to people about, about that. So the Maths Hub programme is school-centred professional development for um, schools and colleges to engage in collaborative professional development to support the improvement of the teaching and learning of mathematics and it is school-centred in that it is led by local leaders of maths education who are primarily based within schools who are teaching mathematics or leaders of mathematics and they lead, they lead professional development programmes or work groups that bring teachers together, leaders together to think about how they can implement teaching for mastery and how they can improve outcomes for children. All our programmes are centred around this idea of collaboration um, where work group participants come together and you've got specialist experts, our, our work group leads or our mastery specialists supporting and driving that work. Um, but the idea of sustained collaboration I think is what's key and what, it's what make, makes our programme uh, work and, and have that sustained impact in schools as well. Um, I think for me, I think it's all about working with like-minded individuals who are all passionate about improving and driving edu um, improvement in education. programme is so successful because firstly it puts people's right at the heart of everything that we do is about the people so it comes back to people's in the maths classroom. We are a huge network who collaborate together, we're very system led, we're, we, you know, we're leading from the ground and we collaborate and learn from each other, we never stand still, we use evidence and research to help us move forward but always move forward in a way that's going to improve quality of education in maths for pupils in England. I think one of the biggest uh, benefits for myself and my school that I work with for being a work group lead is that evidence-based practice that I'm able to take from the regional training, the national training, the collaboration with my other mastery specialists and I'm able to put it directly back into the schools that I'm working in. All the research, all of the reports that come out and they get analysed, I get to talk about directly with the maths leaders that I'm working with to make sure that our practice is the most up-to-date and well-informed. I would say to a teacher that wasn't yet involved in their local maths hub that they don't know what they're missing. <laughs> um, the way that teaching, teaching for mastery has developed in our school and has really kind of revolutionised the way we teach is, is being felt for all the way from our senior leaders all the way to our um, ECTs. I think the best form of learning is to go and watch other teachers teach and the work groups enable you to do that. What sort of numbers are 